Oh my goodness, I didn't see that we've come on. I'm, oh my goodness. Okay, we're starting. Hello, I'm Dawn with DD Creates Crafts. This is our fifth and final video for today. This is a book bound card and I'm showing you because when it opens, this part looks like it's bound. That part does not open. So it's just a really fun card. It's easy to make and we're gonna make it today. I'm gonna teach you how. So welcome, I'm Dawn with DD Creates Crafts. It's, we're celebrating World Card Making Day. So let's get started with the book bound card and be sure to see the other videos the other four videos I've done previous to this one remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video at the end if you actually like the video remember ask comments I mean ask questions comment and most of all make this card and show me what you make let's get crafting I'm gonna put the camera down and make sure you can see everything Move this this way. All right, looking good. So I've got my paper trimmer out and I'm tickled at myself because the measurement for the base, once again, is four and a quarter by 11. So this is an eight and a half by 11 card. So we're gonna leave the 11, bring it up and cut it at four and a quarter for our base. And this will actually leave you out of the one piece of paper, two card bases. So put one aside, you make yourself two, and you'll have the one already pre-cut. Now we're gonna score. So we're gonna score at six and a half. Six and a half. And five and a half. So that's our base. Fold, fold, fold. And then um, you've got this little crease line. So we fold it at five and a half and then you've got your one inch here. And that's what we're going to actually adhere down and the card's going to open like this and that'll be cl kept closed. So this is our base. Now what we're going to do, so put this aside, all right? Now what we're going to do, let me see my next Number two is, step two, is cut your second color. So you want a base color, you want a second color, you want a print color, you want white paper. So now we're gonna cut the second color. This one's gonna be at three and one quarter. Three and one quarter by three. Three and one quarter by three. Now to go with this, I thought I'm gonna change it up where the second step, it just was less confusing for me. Step two, there I go. This is gonna go on top of this for layering. So this is gonna be three. This is the white. Three inches by two and three quarters. And you're gonna see why I wanted to do it this way and not cut all the colors together. Now we know this goes together, it's gonna to go on top of the card, but we have one more layer. So step three, we're gonna cut the jade color again. That's too short. Okay, we're gonna cut the jade color again at four and one quarter. And then again at four. And that's step three. So also we're gonna cut a white, but for the inside of the card, that, let me double check my measurements. It's slightly smaller. The white's gonna be four by three and three quarters. So let's do us a four. and three and three quarters. There we go. I've got a bunch of measurements. So this is actually gonna go on the inside of our card because it folds like that. So that way it fits nicely and we have some margin and 
it sounds like, because what if it was a regular card, it'd be too short, but because we're gonna seal that down, it fits beautifully. Now this, something's lacking, so what's missing? We need some print paper, we may need another piece of jade. So, let me look here, print. Step four, I am gonna cut, all right, hold with me. Yep, I see two. Step four is my print paper. So this one is gonna be four. Well, that's the strip, bear with me. Print is gonna be four by three and three quarters. So it was my four, mm -hmm. three and three quarters. So now the jade is gonna be, that's step four. Do I have this one already? Let me look. Yes, this one we already cut. So let me tell you the measurements of this one again. Four and a quarter by four. So this one, this jade's gonna go on top. Now they're just, there are rectangles, but only slight rectangles. So if you put it down and go, oh, I missed cut. No, you didn't. Just flip your card a little bitty bit and you're good to go. And then we're gonna layer this jade, two different colors, and then the white on top, we're gonna stamp. So it's gonna look like this. So what's missing? We need our strip of print paper. So I'm gonna come back and the strip of print paper is going to be four inches by three quarters of an inch. And we know this because our bound area is one inch. So this is just gonna give it a little pop of color. Cute, right? So now the hard part is over. We've got the inside white, we've got the outside, and then we would print stamp, I'm just calling it printing. We're gonna stamp on the outside. So let's get to decorating. I've actually done all the decorating. I didn't want this to be a super long video for you. So with the white, you stamp a sentiment, you stamp some decorations, and it's gonna be cute as a button. And we uh, will get to assemble that. Make sure I got all my moving parts. And on the inside, I had one I pre-stamped. Let me see if it was in here. If not, we'll stamp it. Yep. Here's the white one I've already pre-stamped and that will go on the inside. And then it's just stamped for a little bitty decoration. You'll hand write your sentiment, you know, from mom and dad, from grandma and grandpa. So this is gonna be our card. I've actually got double pieces. So let's get to the assembly. The first thing we want to do is close up and seal the book binding part. That one inch, there we go, that we use the score, the scoring for. So you're going inside that score line, inside this score line. I am using tear and tape because it is strong and I love it because it'll hold this closed because when you make the fun folds like we've been making all day uh the element of the card the main takeaway is the design of the card the fun fold so that part we really 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 want to hold and not come apart because the recipients if they are not card makers are not going to know how to put it back together so that's our job to get some nice tools and so now I'm just gonna close it so I'd have my two edges together, the book bound part. I'm just gonna burnish it to make sure my adhesive is nice and closed and tight and sticky. And there you go. That's it. So let's just to emphasize it, let's, uh, let's put our strip on first. Trying to eyeball it so it's not totally crooked. Just stick that in there so I don't lose it. Now this part, you know what I think I'd like to do? I'm gonna do these two layers flat. And then once I adhere this, I'm gonna pop it up a little bit. I just thought, that'd be pretty. 
So I'm going to attach the print paper to the second color of solid paper because you want two colors solid that'll look pretty together and I thought these did. crooked I'm getting over here. I'm getting kind of wild and crazy with this card making. So I want to then, because if you're making it, you would stamp your sentiment, you would stamp a little design right here. Or if you wanted, you could fussy cut some of the flowers, pretend you have flowers for your print paper, and glue those down. So decorate a little corner any way you want in the whole wide world, but that's where your sentiment goes. Again, the main, 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 main point of this demo is the actual fun fold of the card, which is the book bound part. So this I'm gonna eyeball. And now let's pop it up, because we can. I just think it'll add a little extra, because we're not doing a lot. We're not adding a ribbon, you know what I mean? I may, I think I will put a little bling on it, but it's still a pretty simple card, so I thought let's pop it up and just add a little bitty bit of dimension. And these are the names of these heifers or dimensionals. So it opens like this, and this little pop-up guy we're gonna center. I just eyeball it, and I do like that. I do like it popped up. I think if you wanted, you could, depending on your decoration, wrap a piece of ribbon around it or some twine and tie a bow with the twine. So you can play with your own personal decorations to see what you wanna do. And then this little guy, we're gonna put on the inside. It just looks like I'm a wild crafter. My little base is uh, my protective piece getting away from me. Too funny. That I'm gonna do flat. And it's got a little bitty decoration on the inside and you can either stamp a sentiment or you can totally add your handwriting to and from type of thing. But this is your card, here's your sample card. This I did do some die cuts just to add one more thing. This is actually this particular same stamp stamped with stamps included in the set, and this one I just colored. So let me add a little bling. That I added bling right there, so let's see. I'm feeling like, though, with this one, I wanna add a little bling at the top near the sentiment, where this one I put it down below, but the sentiment's down below, because I added that element. So the book bound style opening, let me show it to you from the side. It opens like that like this so you can see this part stays secure and there you go can you tell I like that color <laughs> so there's your two cards this was our last video if you have stuck with me all day long congratulations it's kind of been like a really fun retreat for card make world card making day. Let me hold this card up for you. This is the last one, our book bound card. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I do weekly videos and periodically like like today I'll come and do um you know like three, four, or five videos in a row or sometimes I do an event like I'll do one video a day for five or seven days so you never know what i might be up to but either way i want you to make this card and i want you to show me the card that you make that's what makes my day is when you take what i share with you and use it personalize it and use it and just so i know i'm making a difference in the crafting world so here's our card and thank you for spending the day with me. Thank you for watching the videos. Thanks for crafting and remember to subscribe and also like the videos that you've actually liked. I'm crossing my fingers, saying a prayer that it's all of them. Thanks so much and uh, ask questions, leave comments and let me take a little break and then I'll fill in all the measurements for you under the comment section of each particular video. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend and remember to craft. Bye now.